Hey Flipfam! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle. This <laughs> no, this is, is... This is my David. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I'm just excited because we're going to Ikea. Yeah. They have two Millsbo wines in black left in stock. And we're and hoping they're there when we get there. I would like for somebody to not buy both of them before I can get there. So that is the plan. That's what we're going to do. And then Bark and Vine is like right down the street around the corner from Ikea. We've only ever been there once. The last time I was there actually is when I hit 10k subscribers here on YouTube and you bought me my Hoya Elliptica. Is as, it still alive? Yes, it's oh. in the hanging basket by the refrigerator. I just so, said that yesterday. Oh, right. I was like, this is the plan that you yeah. got me. Anyway, yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's growing. It's doing really well. It probably needs to be repotted though. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go there. Maybe they'll have more Hoya. Not that I need to buy more Hoya, but I will if they have them. And I don't have the ones that they have because that's just a thing. I need them all. Sure. That's why we're getting another cabinet. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, that's because my story. You're downsizing with another cabinet to put more plants in. I'm not. I didn't say I was downsizing. <laughs> You're purging. When did I say? Oh yeah, yeah, purging plants that I don't want so that I can make more room for, for more plants. For the plants that I do want. Anyway, let's go to IKEA. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, shoot, sure, are you recording? Yeah, I like your theme this music. This is our though. music. Do, do, do. Going to IKEA so we can look at names of funny things. <laughs> Like it's a clock, but it's called the Flurgen Blurgen. I mean, we should always like peek at like the kitchen y stuff too, see if there's anything good. Uh, we'll run through there. What is this? So it's a pencil set. It's called a skirt blogum flagon. All right. That's probably a thing. Most likely. This sound, one's I would believe you if you told me. This is a cabinet called the Turd Burger. <laughs> but it was like umlauts. Like four U's and an umlaut in there somewhere. Yeah. What's this place? Horse racing? Um, it would, says would give Sports you Haven. <laughs> <laughs> well, it it's, says racing, betting, it looks like and it's got yeah. horses. Um, for the record, I think that's really inhumane, and I do not support it. You know, fun fact, Ikea had horse in their meatballs one time. Oh my god, ew, babe. <laughs> I'm just saying, speaking this of horses. This is cute. Boathouse at the canal dock. I'm just still trying to figure out why you got Uranus on your shirt. It's Saturn. <laughs> ourselves. Nobody. We think Nobody. we're really funny. I don't know if anybody else thinks we're funny, but we laugh a lot you're at really ourselves. Funny. Me? Yeah. Why? What did I say? I don't know. It's just all I the, think you're funny. I don't think I'm funny. It's all the ridiculous, hilarious stuff that you do by accident. <laughs> Not really intentionally trying to be funny. <laughs> that I laugh at. So you're implying that I'm just stupid. No, not stupid. Clumsy. I do yes. stupid things that are funny. Yes. 100% yes. Yeah, you Good got the clumsy. Know. Look out. The furniture's running away, dude. Anyway, it's Saturday and we're at Ikea, so I'm going to go. Hey, so did you see that guy? Me. He went faster to get that spot before Because he thought you were going to take it. Well, I was going to. <laughs> I don't mind if you want to, like, That dude over there is wearing a full-on martial arts uniform, so that's right. cool. Ikea's getting People wild. People make, like, a whole day out of going to Ikea. Like, they, they bring snacks. They bring all their kids. They bring well, water. Yeah, they have... They have meatballs that don't have horse in them. Yeah, that's nasty. They got in trouble for it. They just like found some in there. Leave the horses alone. Anyway, let's go into Ikea. <laughs> I'm done. If you were going to have like an Ikea theme song, how would it go? Do, 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 welcome new. to Ikea. Stuff like <laughs> I would hope not. <laughs> Only it also sounds like what you're on. describing. That's why it's called small leg. That's not a real word. I know it's not a real word. It should be. <laughs> it's Admiral Ackerbar. <laughs> They're Star cute. Wars people. Yeah. Stevie took me to a while ago. Very cute. I thought they had two different sizes though. Let me make sure that's well, the biggest one. Up. So, we're those people right now in Ikea. Everybody's like, I'm gonna add ankle in there. Gross. 
What? I was trying to do a mirror. <laughs> plant stuff. Get into the plant stuff. Oh, look at <laughs> What is that even supposed to be? An alocasia or a monstera? It's a mon monocasia. Looks like it's supposed to be a monstera elbow and it's pretty bad. This is the nicest looking Tritoscantia I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I think this is supposed to be an elbow. If it's fake, it's not dead. It doesn't even look close to being an elbow. Okay. Well, there's actual plants. Some aloe. For a dollar, oh, they're only a dollar ninety nine for their succulents. Mm. And we have these cute little like trio of succulents. I feel like they always have these. Yeah. Uh, and some little sansevierias. Oh, they're uh, need some more soil. <laughs> oh, here's the anthurium. Fourteen ninety nine. See, I paid actually even less at Home Depot. Surprisingly, grafted cactus. Ooh, they have a bunch more over there. Some um, little bonsais, ficus bonsais. Why does this one have no soil though? Like who does that? That's really exposed, right? It's so overexposed. Some calathea for $11.99. These are on sale for $12.99. Yeah, see that's the bigger one. Do you think that'll fit? It's not the bigger one, it's the same thing. What? No, that's the one that you have. No, I have an are you sure it's the same size? Because this one's different. It's bigger. See? Oh, it's a bigger Akabar. Yeah, I want the big one. You think the big one will fit? I don't know. I don't know. We can move the shelves. Like, the shelves do move. Yeah. So, like, I can Because I can fit more in there. I can make it taller. I can fit, like, four. Yeah, let's get a different general Akabar. Bar. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought that there was a bigger one. And it's only like an $8 difference, so it makes sense to get the big one. Alright, let me finish looking at the plants. Some Calathea. Um, money trees, Bird of Paradise. They have more of these ficus bonsais. They're really big. Uh, for $25.99 they're on sale. They do sell Lekka. I heard that they sell Lekka now. Oh, they're so little. It's Odla. For 10 bucks for a bag, not bad. They've got some golden pothos, ponytail palms, um, alocasia poly. I feel like these are the usual plants that we see here. They do have some cute like pottery and stuff, but nothing new, I don't think. Hi. Hi. You're cute. Anything good over here? Nope. No, just more snake plants. Some sad peace lilies. Uh, there's <clears throat> there's some like little ficus down here. Looking pretty good actually, just not these ones. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it. Nothing. They do have like all the cute planty stuff though. There's some Monstera Deliciosa over here. Not looking bad. For I don't know how much. It's usually a sign somewhere. $15.99 maybe. Not exactly sure. But we're gonna go and get get my Mills bow now. Let's do it. Mills bow, where are you? Better be here or I'm gonna cry. Mills bow. Mills bow. Mills bow. Is that it? That's the one? That's the one. It's in two boxes? That's correct. There are two left. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I'm so excited. Push. They have uh, plenty of the white ones in stock, though. The Millsbow wide. Oh, yeah. 
Um, I don't think they have any of the tall ones in stock because they never do. I don't even see them here. You would think they'd be like in the same spot, right? I got mine. I got my mills. Bo. I got my mills. Bo. Go ahead. You were doing a dance. Mm -hmm. But why are you not dancing? I got my mills. <laughs> I love that you don't question me, you just go with it. It's Bills, bro. Bills, bro. Ooh, nobody likes Bills, bro. Bills, bro baggies? Nah. Baggies? No. All right, that's enough for Ikea. <laughs> I think we've tortured you enough with our <laughs> antics. I'm sure. Bark and vine. All for plants and plants for all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, boo. Oh, look at the cute little olive trees. I saw ones yesterday that had olives, babe. They had olives on them. Okay, fam. We are at Bark and Vine in New Haven, Connecticut, in case you missed it. And this place is so stinking cute. They had all the different, like, pothos and trailing philodendron varieties here. Some mandula pothos for... $18, which isn't a bad price for finding a nice one in the store. They also had the philodendron brandy for only $14 for this really full pot. So if you wanted to give that plant a go, that's a really good price for it. Xantherium I thought was pretty. And then over here they had some Syngonium erythrophyllum with these cute red undersides alocasia cupria for 25 with some red undersides as well these monstera dubia are absolutely stunning for only 52 dollars i thought this was a really good price for how much plant you're getting and then over here we have like the more rare plant setup i think they had some cute ficus shiverianas such a sucker for these i want like five more i have one but i want like five more <laughs> they're so cute for 38 anthurium fingers definitely an interesting one and then down here they had this really interesting begonia that i've been seeing pop up by panada fitta for 18 dollars i just i was struggling to read the name i just thought that that was so unique and strange and I don't know I wouldn't expect it to be a begonia I suppose if I wasn't so familiar with how begonia grow I just think it's really cool it's a really interesting looking plant and I was contemplating whether or not I could keep it alive inside of one of my new terrariums but <laughs> we shall see they had some amedrium blue for $21 really really stinking cute and then down here they had some Monstera Standeliana Albo, not super Albo, but this thing grows like a weed. Some Alocasia Quilted Dreams for $25. Syngonium Albo with some really, really nice variegation. Never mad about that. And then they had this cute Philodendron Silver Stripe for only 25 bucks. Nice full plant lots to propagate and share with your friends really really fast growing and cute philodendron they also have this pink princess hiding back here it was on sale for 85 not bad variegation on it um Burl marks fantasy for 37 these have a really interesting pattern that is kind of difficult for you to see in this light they also have this Raphidophora cryptantha. These leaves have a really interesting veining. $35. This is one of those shingling plants that I really don't love, but this one is pretty stinking cute. Epipremnum panatum. And then over here we have some philodendron splendid. These are really, really cute. Um, they are a melanochrysum hybrid, I'm pretty sure. $42 so I don't know I think I've heard that it's easier than the melanochrysum but I, I cannot tell you because I've never had one some calathea white fusion over here 
some more prayer plants, calatheas down here, peace lily sensation, more of the common stuff over here. They did have these cute peperomia and canna, one of our favorites, as you can tell, we're both <laughs> rubbing the leaves because they're fuzzy. String of turtles for only $10. I remember when those used to be really expensive. You've got all your peperomia here, some pilea, and then some rattlesnakes. And they did have some nice full baskets of the Syndapsis Silver Hero for only 25 bucks. I thought that was a pretty good price. I imported mine a few years ago when they were like still hard to find and um, these look a lot better than mine. <laughs> so Syngonium Wendlandii hanging out over here, super duper cute. And then you've got the Syndapsis Trubii, some cute little begonias over here. I like the hint of pink on these leaves. I feel like I've had this one before. I went through a begonia phase, Miss Mummy. It's cute. Um, that pig planter is also really cute. Huge Monstera Tycon in the window here as well. But yeah, I went through a begonia phase. This one is really cool. Begonia something or other, Chlorosticta, I don't know, for $30. Um, some Syndaps Syndapsis Splash. I can word good. And then I was really excited to see these Calathea fasciad Fasciata. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. I just say the one with the dark, like the Orbifolia with the dark um, vein hang. I told David to pick out the cutest one for me. They also had some Syngonium Milk Confetti for only 15 bucks, and I was surprised because, I don't know, I found it in um, Lowe's for like, what, 15 or something like that in one of those Live Trends pots, and I was like, oh, that's a steal, but like, here they are. And David's trying to say that he thinks this is the nicest one, even though there's a little bit of leaf damage. He's cute. Anywho, this is a fern, I think. Um, Australian tree fern. Yes, look at me go for $20. Really interesting looking fronds. Is that what they're called? This one's like brown and fuzzy. And then this thing I've never seen before. I thought these leaves were really interesting. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen this plant before. A camphoria. Camphoria elegant. I don't know, but it's $15. Um, also, this snake tote bag is really freaking cute. But yeah, this plant is <laughs> ADHD, even while I'm doing a voiceover. But I thought that um, plant was really interesting. And so is this begonia that David was showing me before. I was a little bit tempted to get it because I thought it would look cool inside my new coffin planter that I picked up. But I didn't feel like paying $30 for something that I'm not like 100% on because um, I've killed that one. I've killed one of these like silvery ones too. I have never had this one. I think it's more of like a Rex type, begonia something or other for $28. Um, then they've got some whale fins. I forgot to check the price on those. I apologize for that, but this place is really cute. They've got lots of little knick-knacky things too, like soap, and candles, lots of pottery, and little home things, mugs, things of that nature. So it's a great place to come and get gifts for the planty people in your life as well. Um, some really gorgeous, colorful pottery over here. And then I was attracted to these prints, obviously, because I like snakes. I don't know what type of snakes these are. I also really like bugs, so I thought that this print was uh, pretty cool, and I kind of wanted to get it, but I didn't feel like paying $18 for it because I don't really need it, and I'm trying to just be a little smart about it. <laughs> so over here, they have their air plants and such, and they have these really cute little ceramic snakes these are from carter and rose you guys can actually find these on instagram and i think that they sell them on etsy or something along those lines as well really stinking cute um you can just probably google carter and rose 
snake and it will come up. Also fortune cookie, really cute. And um, David was showing me the little rainbow thing that goes in the window. I kind of want to put the sticky ones on the window. The snake steaks were really cool. Snake steaks, wow, oh, that's a tongue twister. The snake steaks were cool too. <laughs> They had some Hoya hanging here, Hoya Way Eddie Eye for 25. Really nice full basket. And then they had the Hoya Latifolia Albo Marginata or Macrophylla, as like a lot of people still call it, which is fine because people still know what you're talking about. Hoya Australis Lisa. And then over here with all their cacti, I noticed that they had some booby cactus and I am definitely not mad about it. $43 for these. If I didn't have one already, I probably would have snagged one because that's a nice find. You don't usually see those. David's really cute and <laughs> holding my plant for me. Um, and then they did have a few more Hoya over here. They had the Hoya Crassipetialata for 30 bucks. Um, which isn't a terrible price if you don't have this one. I did get like a big hanging basket of it for that same price, but Hoya Obovada with some really nice splashing on it over here. And then they had some silver sword philodendron, nice and mature on a pole. And then down here they had the hanging baskets of Hoya Kamingiana, definitely a unique one, a thinner leaf Hoya for sure for $38. I have this exact hanging basket, but I cut the whole thing back and I propagated it and I should probably um, sell some of those cuttings. <laughs> I have a lot of Hoya cuttings that are going to be going up for sale soon, so stay tuned for that. This Hoya Shepardii is in bloom. Look at it, you guys. It's so pretty. Mine has a bunch of peduncles, but none of them have ever actually bloomed for me. So I don't know. I would really love to get some of these cute little blooms on my Hoya. I love Hoya blooms. I think they are the cutest stinking thing ever. Um, these pitcher plants I thought were really cool and really healthy looking for $24. If you're good at that, they also have lots of crystals and things of that nature over here so like honestly they have everything they really do like if you're within like an hour or so of driving like you should definitely come and check the place out they've got the variegated way eddie eye hanging baskets the australis lisa and then over here they've got this alocasia platinum some philodendron billy hanging out up here and then they just have all these cute little knickknacky things like jewelry and some stickers and that's it for bark and vine i got a plant i got a plant i got a plant hey 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 you're supposed to finish it. Okay, ramen grill, ramen. Okay, let's Is this here. where we're going? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, fam. Okay, fam. So that was IKEA. Welcome back and... to my channel. If you are new, wait no. now. And Bark and Vine. Isn't Bark and Vine so cute? I love it. And I did pick up this. Oh, I just spilled dirt on myself. That's fine. Calathea with the darker, the Orbifolia with the dark. That I've actually been wanting, but I never see it like in a small enough plant. So here's a small enough plant for 16 bucks. Plus I had a little $2 off from like, they have like a rewards program there, which is pretty cool. And I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I think this is really cute and hopefully I can keep it happy because I um, killed my other Orbifolia, unfortunately. I think it has spider mites, but uh, thanks for hanging out with us today, you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you found anything that you would have bought. Um, what kind of emojis should they leave us, boo? Um, just anything. Noodles. Noodles. We just had ramen. Yeah, it was good. Um, at this cute little place around the corner from Bark and Vine. So we got full bellies and we're heading back home so I can take a nap. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed hanging out with us, you should give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you wanna be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perky perks. <laughs> If not, there's a join button if you, uh, no. If not, there's a super thanks button. See, I can't multitask. I was trying to put the plant back in the bag at the it's same time. Period. My brain is like, nope. It's 98 degrees outside. We're both it's sweating. pretty hot out. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, there's a super thanks button. If you want to super thanks me, you guys know I love you. I appreciate you. I can't do this without you. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness and I will see you in the next one. Bye.